Hello, Rob Schwimmer with another Hacken Continuum tip du jour, faceless. Hi. So this is going to be number 25A, an addition to the fourths pattern in the Bernard Herrmann kind of pattern. Now this is going to be the first fourths pattern, which you remember went... So it's just like it continues with the octave pedal set to one, it would kind of go up to here and then it would continue there. Now, if we do it two octaves, set the pedal for two octaves instead of one, we can just continue up. That with the octave shift will be back down here. So it should continue all the way up, let's see. Well, that's nice. Covers a lot of area then, it's like four octaves. That's setting the octave pedal to two octaves. Let's see if I can articulate that a little better. Now back to our Bernard Hermony passage, which was an A minor, C sharp minor, F minor going up. But we're breaking it. If it was just the pedal was set to one octave, it would shift. Or we could continue and then shift up here. If we wanted to go a four octave pattern. Shift. Once again. So that's what it would be like if we shifted at one octave, shifting. Uh, shift up there. Now, if we set it for two, the pedal for two octaves, we'll go up here. And then right there, your initial position will go back down to there, but it'll be up two octaves. So it'll be like the same as there. So it'll be like. So it's kind of cool having the two octaves there because this hand is already kind of set. So in a way, it's easier than traveling all the way up there for the one octave, I think. So it would be, once again. Okay.